Once, in the middle of the 20th century, data storage was a huge challenge. The first hard disk appeared in 1956, thanks to engineer Reynold Johnson and IBM. This giant, called IBM Ramoc, consisted of 50 disks, each over half a meter in diameter. It weighed nearly a ton and stored only five megabytes of information, less than a single modern photo. But it marked the beginning of a new era. Reynold Johnson, later called the father of the hard disk, received more than 90 patents and forever inscribed his name in the history of technology. His invention transformed computers and IBM solidified its leadership in the world of computing. The principle of the hard drive is both simple and ingenious. Inside are platters made of glass or aluminum covered with a thin magnetic layer. They spin at speeds from several thousand up to 15,000 revolutions per minute. Above them hover tiny read-write heads, which record and retrieve data by changing the polarity of the magnetic surface. This allows millions of zeros and ones to be stored. Fun fact, the very first HDD cost over $50,000 and could only hold one modern high-quality song. Today, a palm-sized drive can store more than 20 terabytes of data. But as technology advanced, a new player appeared, the solid-state drive. The story of SSD began in the 1970s with the idea of storing data without moving parts. The real breakthrough came in 1984, when engineer Fujio Masuoka at Toshiba invented NAND flash memory. This technology became the foundation of SSDs. Fujio Masuoka was a true pioneer of memory technology. He invented both NAND and NOR flash, forever changing the way we store information. His work became the foundation for USB sticks, memory cards, and modern SSDs. In the 2000s, Samsung and Intel brought SSDs to the mass market. The first models cost thousands of dollars and stored only a few hundred megabytes. But today, SSDs are the standard, fast, compact, and resistant to shock. Their principle of operation is very different from HDDs. There are no moving parts inside. Instead, SSDs use NAND flash chips that store electrical charge in tiny transistors. The controller manages the process, writing and reading data almost instantly. HDDs and SSDs each have their strengths and weaknesses. Hard drives remain cheaper and better for massive storage while SSDs offer incredible speed and reliability. Today, the two coexist. HDDs for archives and large files, SSDs for operating systems, gaming, and daily work. From the first giant cabinets to tiny chips in your pocket, the journey of data storage has lasted for decades, and the story is far from over. Perhaps tomorrow, we'll see a new technology that replaces both HDDs and SSDs.